Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip comes to you from an anonymous member. She doesn't want to be um, called out. But um, one of the most m biggest mistakes um, with abs, ab workout that people make, women in general, um, men, they really don't care too much because they're men. Um, but for women, when they're doing their abs, they want, you know, a nice flat belly and they want, you know, like that hourglass. So they want it, you know, kind of tapered in. Well, <clears throat> the one thing that uh, you see a lot of women doing in the gym, a lot of people doing, um, is, you know, like holding the weight on their side and doing like these side bends and stuff. Um, that, I mean, it works the external obliques, number one. That's good. Okay. But what it does, and I tell all the women when I see them doing it, or if they say, hey, is this a good ab exercise? It's a good ab exercise, but the thing is, it creates that, um, they get they get bigger. So if you want a flat belly, especially women, you know, a lot of times the men like those oblique things, and, and I, I think, I don't know if you guys have know what I'm talking about, it's the, it's the things right here. So a lot of women don't want those on the side there because it kind of makes it look like men abs. So that's kind of what I did when I'm back in the day. I didn't know, but actually I kind of like that. I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't, I don't give it a shit because <laughs> I think it's cool looking. Um, but a lot of women don't like that. They don't want that. Um, but that's what I did when I was first starting out working out. I did these heavy, heavy weight side bends and everything, and that really developed my obliques on the side. So men, if you want that, do those side bends. Women, if you don't want that, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do certain things in the gym because you see someone else doing it. Um, you know, ask a professional. That's how Blake does it on uh, The Voice. Ask a professional and figure out if it's the right thing to do. Sometimes, you know, people just do crazy shit in the gym, as we have seen, and we've seen it all on Facebook too, some crazy ass uses of equipment, and it's just crazy. Um, but anyway, don't assume that someone's doing that just because they look good or whatever. Don't assume that it's the right exercise for you per se, or find out what it's actually going to do with, you know, like the prolonged, I don't want to say use, but the prolonged, you know, time of you doing it, what could actually, you know, come about with doing that. Um, there's other ways of working your obliques. Um, there's some people out there that don't even believe in working your obliques as far as, you know, crunches per se, because especially for women, they don't want those big, huge, things on the side so they just do you know crunches to work the upper um, the upper abs and then leg lifts or you know um, different things for 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 like the lower leg lifts and um, I want to say butt thrusts but um, you know different things to work the lower the lower part of your abs so sometimes women don't even work the obliques um, you know I work um, the obliques in certain ways of just elongating the muscle. Um, I mean, I've already kind of gotten that. Um, I do certain things like you can do um, oblique planks where, you know, like when you have a plank and you're holding out on your, your elbows and your toes and you're planked out. Well, if you do that on your side, whether you do it on your side, on an elbow or, you know, on your hand, um, you know, that's working your oblique. Um, you know, you can sit on the ball, lay on the ball, and instead of just doing a straight up crunch like this, you can do, you know, a crunch, you know, from taking like your shoulder, your elbow to, you, you know, your hip knee area. Um, now I wouldn't focus, focus on the obliques. Do focus on your upper, focus on your lower, but you know, I always only, when I do abs with my clients, I only give them one or two, um, actually just one, um, oblique exercise and, um, you know, and I only get them to do two sets, not three sets. So, you know, I, I get them to work those obliques, but I don't focus on the obliques because like I said, women don't want huge obliques. So, um, you know, focus on your upper, focus on your lower, do some side planks to, you know, to just, you know, work the, the obliques, um, 
you know, internally, not externally. Well, it's kind of working externally, but when you're doing planks and holding and stuff like that, you're actually, you know, working more of the core inside stuff. Um, stay away from doing the side bends with the weights, women, if you don't want those big, huge, oblique things popping out like you see on men and me. I like it. I think it's cool looking. Um, it's strong looking, but a lot of women don't want that because they want the tapered in hourglass look. And, um, you know, so I hope that helps with some oblique workouts. Um, you know, and the reason why women don't do the side weighted bends, if you don't want the huge obliques, I tell the, I tell the women all the time, whenever I see them doing it, do you know? And they're like, oh my God, no, I didn't know that. So then they stop doing it. Um, so just food for thought. I uh, hope that helps. Hope you like that tip. Uh, message me, comment below. Let me know what you want to know, what you're having issues with, whether it's nutrition, whether it's workout. Um, download my Danny K, D-A-N-I, letter K app from your Apple phones. If you have a droid and you want my um, app, please message me. I'll send you the link out. Um, and Danny K. Joe Wallace on Facebook, Danny K. Joe Wallace.com, my app. There's all kinds of different ways to get a hold of me. So stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.